I hear the sun's on the moon. Don't tell me it's going backwards like that Mercury thing. No, and thank God the sun never goes backwards, good. which is a really good thing. The sun is going from the fire sign of Aries into the earth sign of Taurus, which is why Earth Day is during the sign of Taurus. That's where that came from. Uh -huh. um, and Taurus is a completely different energy from Aries. Aries is a let's start everything kind of energy. Taurus is a fixed, let's take it slow and build on a solid foundation kind of a sign. So that sounds like Taurus my wife. Is, yes, they're very deliberate. Mm -hmm. You know, they just don't do anything fast. And the thing about Taurus is you have to know that they say no is their first answer. And then give them a little time to think about it and then they'll go ahead and say yeah, yes. Yeah, that's how I've ended up with so many of those cars of mine. But that's another story all together. Exactly. So <laughs> I think it's important to know where you're going to be steadfast and, and dependable in your chart. So for Taurus is the sign that we are going to be in. Um, it's all about them. It's about them. It's about them getting what it is that they say that they want. It's about them projecting their ego out into the world. It's a very, very gratifying time for Taurus because they make sure to get that their wants and needs met go to the top of the list, which is a very cool thing. Yeah. For Geminis, it is time, much for our president, to take a step back and retreat and reflect and kind of look around and say, okay, I've accomplished a whole bunch of things this year. I need to be able to put them into perspective and this 30 days that the sun is behind their sign is the best time to just go ahead and do that reflection rather than choosing to act. For Cancers, it's in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives, and they will get the opportunity, through the help of their well-placed female friends, to reach a long-standing hope, wish, goal, or objective, and to let the group help the Cancer out, which is good for the United States. It means the Senate's probably going to act, and Congress will probably act favorably. Good. We hope. For, yes. One can only hope. For Leos, it's in the 10th house of career and public standing. Mm -hmm. the, the spotlight and the emphasis is going to be on their career, their public standing, where they project their ego out into the world. And they need to stand their ground. They really need to. They need to kind of dig in their heels and say, no, I'm not going to change. I, I like doing what it is that I'm doing. Okay. So, for Virgos, it's about legal matters. It's about educational matters. It's about important matters at a distance for Virgos. And it's very, very favorable energy for the Virgo. And it may be something that they've done before, but they get the opportunity to do it again and do it right. Uh, and again... They also need to stand on what their beliefs are. For Libra, it's about other people's money, other people's resources flowing the, the Libra's way. It's about banks, financial institutions, anything having to do with maximizing a jointly held resource um, is going to go very favorably for the Libra. For Scorpios, everybody's going to be pointing a finger at the Scorpio, going, no. you, 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 you. Hopefully uh, it's not the middle finger. I, well, yeah, for some of them it will be. No. And for some of them, they're going to find out who their open enemies are, and people they thought might be allies turn out to be enemies. And, and by the same token, since Mercury is still retrograde, people that are enemies may turn out to be allies. Kind of hard to tell. But the emphasis is on partners. For Sagittarians, it's on work and responsibilities. There, there are changes going on at work. Um, and they need to they need to acquiesce to the changes rather than fighting them, and they need to find a way to incorporate those changes into the fabric of their job. It's not a promotion, it's not an increase, it's just it ends up being a better working environment for the Sagittarian. For Capricorns, it's about children, sports, amusements, pleasures, anything fun, anything entertaining. Having a good time is number one um, on the Capricorns list of things to do. Falling in love being one of those things Ooh. with someone or a thing. For Aquarians, it's about their home, it's about their foundations, it's about putting down roots. It's about solidifying your foundation. It's a good time for spring cleaning as well, to just try and get your home organized for you. Take 30 days to do it right. For Pisces, it's in the third house of day-to-day -day living, so they're, they are carving out a new routine for themselves, and they have to be careful not to cram too many things into a given time span, because everything is going to take longer than the Pisces thinks it's going to take. So the, uh, the operative thing is don't bite off more than you can chew. And then for Aries, it's about real estate. It's about property. It's about finances. It's about making more money. It's about the Aries taking some kind of action and maybe partnering up with someone in order to make more money because that's really what that energy uh -huh. is about. So um, that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac with the sun on the move going from Aries into Taurus. Not bad news uh, considering no, it's, it's not, Mercury yeah, retrograde. considering it's retrograde. Yeah. Not so bad. Well, good. We'll, we'll see you next week. Always we'll do even better. A pleasure.